What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna give you a great tip to farm efficiently in the Endless Cloister, the higher stage as you can. You are gonna see this is gonna be as fast as if you were using the multi battles in lower stages, but that time you are farming the higher as you can. And you are gonna see this is gonna be so great. I don't say that you are gonna have way, way more drop rates, but it does the difference because there I am currently farming the stage 36 and I have almost 2% drop rate on the mythic chest to get mythic blessings and 4% to get the legendary ones, 9% there and I don't have a common ones anymore because after the stage 35 you don't have any more uh, these chests. So of course you are always gonna have better stuff. Uh, before I was farming the stage 25 in auto, most of the time I did that in the past. And I did maybe almost only that to buy all the buffs since the release of that content. And so this is what I have today. I almost bought everything in the shop and so I'm okay. I have many buffs, many uh, things on my heroes and that's great. So I have a bit more stats, but even if you don't have uh, that amount of stats, the team I'm gonna show you is gonna work super efficiently and the way you want to farm it is super, super easy. You pick the difficulty the highest as you can. Uh, for example, I'm not gonna pick the 37 because uh, I never uh, cleared it and so I'm not able to do some multi battles so I'm gonna pick the 36 instead. I'm gonna click on continue and then I'm gonna check the boss in front. That one super easy to beat with the team I'm gonna show right to you right there. I already covered that team in the past in another video so if you want to have the details you can check that specific video. It's gonna be a way more efficient uh, than if I try to explain to it to you in that video, but quickly, it's a turn manipulator team and the best one you can have. Uh, with that team, if you can put the speed down 40% on the boss on the second turn of space, he will never take any turn and you are going to be able to kill him before he acts. And that's a super powerful team though. And I, I don't know if, it is, if it's a bug or not, but the multi-battle feature in the Endless Cloister uh, is super fast. When you are doing some multi-battles in other content, for example the Dwarven Ruins, uh, you have only 8 times the, sp the normal speed. But there... It's almost uh, instant. Uh, th this is huge. Uh, look at that. I'm going to explain the team quickly. Uh, Lydia is mandatory, of course. She is increasing the damage of your team. And so your Indra is going to be able to kill the boss faster. If you don't have Lydia, you can replace her by, um, by a Melchior if you want to deal a bit more direct damage and lower a bit more the turn meta of the boss because he can do that on the basic attack. But she is there. She increases, she increases a lot the damage of my team and she can reduce the turn meta of the boss using the basic attack and thanks to Ben Austin she's gonna do that really often and the boss is gonna lose a ton of turn meta also because the Anmu and Space can lower the turn meta with the basic attack. Space can lower the speed by 40% on the boss and up your own speed on all your teammates by 20%. Ben Austin is there for the pursuits only, Dian, Mu and Indra for their combo, and so uh, Indra is gonna destroy the boss. She can also increase a lot the turn meta of your heroes. So, uh, basically, I'm gonna uh, do a multi-battle, look at that, I have 10 keys and you are gonna see, we are gonna do that together, it's gonna be super fast. So, versus that boss, it's working super well, and let's check that. I'm gonna click and as you can see I'm not cutting the video I'm just talking with you doing a really weird signs because blah 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 I'm doing everything super super stupid things I'm not gonna cut and you are gonna see that in a few seconds and look at that it's already finished uh, that's so great and I got wait what oh no that's a blue one okay that's a blue one I thought it was a normal a common one I, I was like what the fuck is that so that's not that much uh, a great one, okay? Poison damage bonus 1%, who cares? But we are gonna check if I am lucky on the other. So I'm coming back there. I'm checking the future bus. That one just skip, okay? It's not gonna work. So you just have to come back, uh, click on reset. And then, yeah, it, it costs absolutely nothing. So you can do that for free. And then you have that one. And you know what? That team is working against that one too, so I'm gonna do the same. 
Uh, you can have a fail depending on the effect hit you have on your space though because as I said before if she's not able to put the uh, speed down 40% on the boss it's not gonna work at all so be careful to that and it might fail and it worked already finished that's so great oh and look at that this is a mythic one A hey, and resistance oh man 24% resistance in life dude that's that's so great the best luck I ever had on the game. This is huge. This, oh man, I'm blessed. I hope that I'm gonna get some more exciting ones like that. Oh man, that's so huge. Damn, you're gonna hate me in comments. Oh, I'm sorry dudes if you are not lucky. This is the first time I've been lucky uh, with a drop in this content. What the hell was that? Let's continue. So, that one, it's not doable because you have some minions during the fight, so you are not going to be able to target only the boss. So, just have to come back, skip the fight, retry again, and... Okay, the same again. So, one more time, just have to talk to you. Uh, maybe it's, it's taking, what, 10 seconds? Uh, something like that. It's super fast and in a few seconds now it's gonna pop and we are gonna be able to check the blessing I'm gonna have. Don't. Oh, that's a green one. Oh man, I'm not lucky at all. <laughs> uh, what a ass I am. So, I'm gonna do another one. Oh, that one, just forget, okay? I showed you a team to beat him, but you have to manual the, uh, the start of the fight, so this is not doable in auto, and so it's gonna take forever. So just have to refresh one more time, and you know what, we have a, again that one. So let's do that one in manual also, and it's gonna be great. So, while it's running, don't forget to use my promo code ACTARIM on Aptoid. You are going to save 5% more cash back if you are buying some stuff in game. A bleeding damage bonus 1.6%. Okay, who cares about that one too? Uh, let's check. Oh, and you know what? That one is working too. So let's just uh, do another multi battle. It's really fast. You just have to do some that 10 times a day. Just have to complete your daily quest, you get 10 keys per day, do your fights, and look at that, it's already finished. I have another bleeding damage bonus, 1.2%, that one sucks again. So let's continue, okay, we have that one, refresh again, enter, and that one ag again and again and again. Super efficient, that's absolutely great, 24% effect resistance. I want a speed one, please, can I have one? I'm lacking some great speed blessings. I never got any. Okay, that's another rare one. HP burning bonus, 1.1%. It's still interesting, though, because you have so many heroes in the game. Even if you put that on one HP burner for the weathering coast, for example, it can make a tiny bit difference and it can be really interesting. So, let's continue. Uh, I'm gonna pick my diamonds and okay forget about that one it's just impossible to beat and immune to dot when he has the shield one more time we have the same so let's continue and that one again again that one and only four keys remaining only and uh, only eight minutes eight minutes so far and I'm talking a lot saying blah 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 shit stuff only and look at that a1, 361, that's a blue one. Pretty interesting for a blue one. You can still use that on a, a hero in your Wuthering Coast, for example. Or maybe if you like just a tiny bit damage to one-shot an enemy in the PvP, so it can make the difference. Uh, so, let's continue that. That one again, over and over. Just have to refresh for free. Okay, enter. And that one again, cool. Three keys remaining only. So I was saying, every day you get 10 keys after completing all your daily quests. And every week you get also 30 more keys. So in fact, once a week, one day per week, uh, you are gonna have to spend 40 uh, keys directly. Uh, but it's really worth it. It's really worth it. Uh, what do I get that time? Okay, another rare one. 2% crit rate. It can make the difference if you have only a 98% on one hero. Uh, that can still be useful. Okay, so let's continue. 
There again, refresh, refresh again. That one is really hard to beat. He is healing so much. And that one again. Okay, let's restart the fight. And you know what? I really do hope, finger crossed, that developers are not gonna change that and make us pay to refresh the content in the Endless Cloister, otherwise I'm gonna stop the game, you know what? Because I spent so many hours to try to defeat some specific bosses in that content, uh, I, I, I think that today, in order to try to make a video on that content, oh, no, not that great, I, I spent maybe four to five hours uh, trying only to beat one boss in the content it was on difficulty 32 only and that was not that one the one with the big shield i tried so hard to beat that boss but i think that he is impossible and i really don't like that because this is the only one i can't beat in that content difficulty 32 only and I don't understand, there are some things in the game that are completely absurd and that one, hopefully if you are lucky enough, you can just, uh, you have f four fights to do and if you don't encounter that specific boss with the huge shield, then you can be lucky and clear your difficulty and jump to the next one. But you, have to, you are gonna have to refresh multiple times. And that's the last key. Am I gonna be able to get another great one? A legendary one. I have 4% chance. It could be possible. So please, be kind. Be nice to me. Give me another mythic one. Okay, that's a rare one. Freeze resistance, 4%. It can still help. It can still help. So let's check my blessings now. Uh, I think I'm gonna put one on my San Wukong to increase his resistance. Look at what he had before. 3.3% resistance. As I said, I uh, low ones can still be useful. 3.3%. 3.2. And <laughs> that time um, it's gonna be so much better. Look at all the resistance I'm gonna get. 24%. This is not the best, but almost the best. I think the best is maybe 38%. You have an S rank with a high proc. Yeah, this is huge, but this is still awesome. 24% more resistance. Wow. 20% more resistance. Now my Sun Wukong has 133% resistance. This is still not the best, though, but he is interesting. So interesting, in my opinion. So... Really do hope that you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.